Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. Today we're going to take a look at some coins from Australia. And these coins will all feature this image on the front. And that is, of course, the third image of Queen Elizabeth II, or third portrait. The so-called Raphael David McClough portrait. And you can tell the Raphael David McClough portrait um, if you tip it up here and you look right down in here. See right there. You see it has an R, a D, and an M. Hence, Raphael David McClough. And that's a much better version right there. I'm trying to get used to this new um, iPhone 12. Um, and it has great zoom features, but it's not so good for the close-ups. And you have to get the light exactly right. So I'm working on it. So this is an RDM. So what is this coin? This huge one right here? Well, of course, that's the 50 cent coin from 1988. The Raphael David McClough portrait on the front of that coin is Queen Elizabeth II wearing the George V uh, crown. And you can see the Florida lease and the cross here. Um, and you can see the earring coming down with the uh, necklace on. It says Elizabeth II or Elizabeth II, Australia, 1988. And if we flip it over, we see the 1988, of course, was the um, discovery of the Bass Strait, the special 50 cent coin. And there's George Bass there. And there's Matthew Flanders here. And then you see it says 1798 to 1998, the 200th anniversary of the discovery of the Bass Strait, which is um, the passage between Australia and Tasmania, uh, the island of Tasmania. And so until then, they didn't actually know that there was a split between them. Uh, at least they, they hadn't confirmed it. So they went down around here and showed that these two men did. Now, I'm sure there may have been native uh, Australians who, who knew that or done that before, but these particular um, uh, men were the first um, of the new settlers to do it and figure it out. So there's 50, that's for 50 cents. Now, Australia is somewhat like the United States, and that is it has a 50 cent coin. It's bigger than everything else. And if you look at this one here, this tiny one next to it, that is worth twice as much as a 50 cent coin because that's the $1 gang of ruse. And again, the Raphael David McClough portrait. And again, if we punch it up a little bit, we see the RDM there. It actually is a little easier to see on these $1 coins uh, since they're made of an aluminum bronze uh, and they kind of hold the printing much easier. This is a 1985. Now these coins were made from 1985 until 1988, these $1 coins that look like this. And then if we go even smaller over here to the side, uh, we see, oh, there's a penny. There's a 1998 penny. And this, of course, is a, you can tell the Raphia David McClough on this one. And this is from a mint proof set. And so sometimes people say, well, mint proof set, how come it's got a scratch in it? Well, that's how it came from the mint. I just took this out of the plastic packaging and that's what it looks like. So sometimes you get these coin markings, even on mint proof sets. That's part of the deal coming from the mint. These are not the special buffed versions. These are just ones that had never been circulated and came uh, from the mint. But anyways, to get over to here, the, to this one, which I've got magnified, but if I bring it down to right size, you see that so here's the this one I'm looking at. You see this the one dollar coin behind it and the fifty cent coin behind that. But guess what this one is? This is worth twice what this one is, or four times the fifty cent, and it is the two dollar coin. Now, this is the coin that I'd like to talk a little bit about today. And you see right here, there's an HH. So in Australia, they came out with a two dollar coin in nineteen. 88, and that was the first one. And only two years had the HH for Horst Hahn. H O R S T is his first name. H A H N E is his second name. And only 1988, 1989 had these initials on it. So if we look at one of the other ones, here's a, let me see, here's a 2000 and two. And of course, this is Ian Rank Broadley portrait, fourth portrait. And you see there's just no initials there. So the 2002 doesn't have it because none of them have it except 19, 
88.1989. So it makes it worth a little bit more. What's this coin worth in this condition? Um, $1.50 to $2 US. If it's uncirculated, worth $4 or $5 US. Um, which isn't much more than it's really worth, right? Um, in, in value. And that's because even though they're only two years of initials, in 1988 they made 161 million of these. And in 1989, they made another 31 plus million. So between the two years, they made 200 million with the HH on them. So it's 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 different because you, you don't have the HH on the other ones, but it's not rare. So we've looked at the $2, the $1, the 50 cent, and then what's this big one here? And we notice that this one is another, again, the... Um, Raphael David McClough, we see the RDM here. So that's the same portrait from the same series. Um, and we notice that it's about bigger than the dollar coin, way smaller than the half. And does anybody know what it is? Well, if you're from Australia, of course you do, and it's the 20 cent coin, and it's the duckbill platypus. And that's that Stuart Devlin um, design. Of course, Stuart Devlin, just a master at these. Uh, animal and uh, water designs, and there's the SD for Stuart Devlin. So that was a 20 cent coin, which is kind of bigger than the dollar and bigger than the two dollar, but smaller than the half dollar. And then here's another smaller one here. Again, that's a 1988. Again, you can't really see the RDM here very well because this is so beat. And this is, of course, the 10 cent coin with the uh, fish inside. Can you see the fish mouth coming out of here? And these are it's like these quills. It's a, almost looks a little bit like, um, you know, some kind of special bird, like a lyre bird or something. But it's it is not. And then of course we have a really small one, and that is, guess what this is? Ah, look at that penny. And that's a, just a sweet little penny there. Look at that guy. Okay. Yeah, so this, of course, is another another one from the uh, proof set. Uh, proof, proof, and they call it BU, or Brilliant Uncirculated. We tip these over, and we see this one is smooth. This one, smooth again on the 10 cent. We go to the 20 cent, we start and get um, the rim on it being ribbed, um, and, or milled, or there's a, you know, a couple different... Um, word you might call it, reeded, milled, rimmed, and that means it simply just has these lines in it. So that's on the 20 cent. Now we go up to the 50 cent, we do not have a milled. What we do have is uh, these rounded sides on it. That's just that, that equilateral curve. And then if we go to the one dollar coin, oh! Hey, what are you doing in there? That's the next portrait. That is, who is this? The in rank Broadley portrait again. Let's get back to the Raphael David McClough portrait. We go to the $1 coin, we see these lines on there. And those lines are the milled or uh, ribbed version. And on the $1 coin, the um, they're on the Stuart Devlin uh, reverse, of course. And I forgot to tell you, this is a Stuart Devlin reverse too. The same as the platypus. Let's see if we can see. This is so the so-called mob of ruse coin, and that is all these kangaroos in a line kind of following each other with this one looking back. It says one dollar in the center. Well, these um, ridges here, there are 11 of these, and there are seven segments. So there's 11 grooves, smooth, 11 grooves, smooth, 11 grooves, smooth, and that goes around seven times on the one dollar coin. And it turns out that the $2 coin is also, get out of there, you know that other portrait loves to kind of jump in. Um, the $2 coin has um, ridges too, but it only has five and then a long smooth and then five and then a long smooth. So on the $2 coin, what we have is four reeded segments with five grooves each. So there's four of these and then a smooth, I mean, five grooves smooth, five grooves smooth, five grooves smooth, 
five grooves smooth, and then we're back to the beginning again. So it, there's four different sets of the, the five grooves in the smooth on that one. So some of them, and this coin is an aluminum bronze coin also. So let's get right down to it. How many of these did they make in 1988, the first year they made them? 161 million almost. And that's with the HH initials. How many did, oh, and some people say, well, yeah, no, you said that it goes from 1988 to, um, to 1998. And I said it does. And they say, no, no, we've seen the 2018. Well, in 2018, they reproduced this as part of another mint set, the 30th anniversary set. And so it is a proof set in an uncirculated set from 2018 that have this image and this image on it. But you'll never see that in this condition. You shouldn't anyway, because they're all in plastic or in some kind of mounted set, and they're all very expensive. They're worth about $5 each. They should all be uncirculated if you find one of these from 2018, um, simply because uh, there, there's no sense taking it out of the package. You, you, you would essentially make it worth from $5 US to uh, $1.40 US uh, simply by taking it out of the package if you had this, the reproduction. So keep the reproduction in a package, of course. Don't pull them out like I did with these uh, one cent and two cent coins. Now, um, all right, so let's just kind of pick them all up and kind of go through them one more time again. All right, so, so there's the one cent, and that's again, Raphael David McClough, the RDM. There's another uh, coin, and that is the 10 cent. And of this, the Stuart Devlin. Then there's the 50 cent. Again, the Raphael David McClough with the Bass Straits reverse on it. Then there's the 20 cent. Raphael David McClough, great RDM there. A, with the a platypus and Stuart Devlin design on there. And then, what the hell is this? Oh, it's, it's a George V coin. This is the old school coin. George V. DG Brit, um, King of All Britons, King of All Britons, uh, and Imp Emperor of India, and Imp. Uh, so this is a George V one penny from the Commonwealth of Australia for 1920. We'll get that out of the way too. Uh, then, we, then we have the dollar coin, Raphael David McClough, the mob of ruse. We have the two cent coin, the frilled lizard, and again, Stuart Devlin. And then finally we have the feature coin for this uh, group of Raphael David McClough portraits, and that is the $2 coin. Now, when I said that this is the third portrait, we need to remember that on the Australian um, coins, they only had the second and second portrait and third portrait, second portrait on. And here's the old second portrait, and of course that's, does anybody know this one here? So this is the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara portrait. This is the so-called second portrait, 1968, the first year of decimalization in Australia, and this is the 10 cent coin. So this is the Arnold Machen, or Arnold Macon design, uh, second portrait. We don't have any first portrait um, Australian coins on that, and those are the Mary Gillick design. No first portrait decimalized coins, I should say. All right, so let's back this up. We see our big pile of coins here. And that's what we have today from Australia. Uh, I just love our Australian viewers. They're very, very loyal viewers. They watch the videos for a long period of time. Oh, here's the next one. So after the second, here, this was the, uh, the, it went second, then it went third, and then it went fourth portrait. And that, of course, that's the Ian Rank Broadley portrait. Our Australian viewers are just very loyal and they watch the videos for a long time. So thanks for watching Australia and thanks for watching everyone else from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel.